Okay, so today we want to use custom sort. And um, in our spreadsheet, you can see we've got our data. And all I'm going to really do is just highlight that data, go over to our home tab, all the way over to the editing group, select sort and filter. And then I'm going to click on custom sort. Now in this, you'll see we have different levels. We can add, delete, copy. We can do all of these things. But this is the section that we are interested in, the sort by. And now you can see the list here from name, surname, gender, grade, and score. Those are the headings we have over here. So I'm going to sort this. Let's say we're going to sort it via grade. And you know, we can go smallest to largest. That's fine. Okay. But that's just sorted on one level. So that's not quite our custom sort. Now if I go back again, custom sort, I can now add a level to that. Now you'll see it's sorted by grade, smallest to largest, and then by, and then I'm going to select the score. And yeah, I'm going to say largest to smallest, and I'm going to click OK. And you can see now how that's actually changed the data that I have within my spreadsheet. I can go back to custom sort, I can add another level. And I can say, well, okay, now I want to add in maybe surname, or I might want to delete a level. And there you see, I'm back to my first one. And this is how we can use the custom sort function within Excel.